Good morrow, gentle people. Welcome to day three of the Haunted Tents build. <laughs> I'm your host, your ghost host with the most. <laughs> okay, enough of the cornball shit here. Uh, it's going on about noon, little afternoon. Uh, getting a late start out here. I have been working in the shop all most of the morning and uh, working on putting, uh, cutting out wood for uh, more partition walls. Uh, we got my errands ran and stuff, uh, so now it's time to get back out here to the build. Here's kind of a daytime look at what we did. We got the roofs up in the tents, got a bunch of the back walls done yesterday, got part of the maze hall put together. I still need to do the bracing and uh, staking on it on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to get more partition walls up. I'll do the bracing and staking after all the walls are up. So. But uh, anyway, this is what we're starting with so far. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of piles of back walls here. I still got more back walls in the back. I've got some in the shop I'm assembling. Well, can you guess what I'm going to be doing today? Back walls. Uh, hoping to get the majority of them up today. Uh, that's my main project for today. Uh, I've got a blue rug big rug that we put down on the driveway to hide the cement i gotta get that put in today before i can put the back walls up in this tent uh i've got nailing strips and backer boards to put up so uh you know that's kind of what i'm gonna be working on today and i'll give you guys some updates as we go along sit tight grab your evening cup of coffee or morning cup of coffee depending on when you're watching this sit back relax and have some fun we'll be back in just a bit okay for me, midday update. <laughs> Even though it's getting to be late afternoon, now, excuse me. Uh, it's about three o'clock. I've been out here since I turned the camera off a bit ago. Yeah, I give you a little update on what I've got going on so far. I just finished, and I know I put the cigarette in my mouth. Uh, I got got this area finished with the side wall up. Got the uh, walls around the perimeter. I still have a set of walls that runs here and there I need to get up. Uh, I got uh, some partition walls around this garden I still need to do. But uh, so far I've gotten stub wall up here. I have two more panels sitting right there. I will extend this out and close this gap off. But we got to finish getting it weeded first. That will be tomorrow. Then we go into our corn haul which you saw earlier this morning and last night. I got up to here done last night. This is gonna be the gypsy area. And I've got these walls up now. They leave the gypsy area and then starting right here is gonna be a chain hall. And we're gonna have some chains and stuff all hung up. Walls in here are still wiggly. I don't have any bracing up. Now this is going to be a, be the uh, cesspool pit or the sewer room or the pond room. Last year it was a display with the big red dog that Godflesh loves so much. <laughs> the dog's making its return and I think I'm going to hang a big chain name tag around his head this year and put God's flesh on it. Just for you, Mark. <laughs> uh, we are going to be different. This is going to be the main pond here. So I'll have a pond here. I'm actually going to do a pond here along this wall. So when they come out of the chain hall, they have to walk over this way and then out. And I'll be framing that in later when I get to doing, uh, framing up this display. It'll make more sense then. But uh, anyway, that's why this is where I've gotten so far. And see over there. Here, let me hit the zoom so you can see it a little bit better. First of my foam board panels coming out. <laughs> it actually goes there by that big bush. I had to bring it out. The rest of my foam board panels I made uh, over the winter won't be out for a couple more days yet. They go in the other two tents uh, go up. But uh, anyway, I've got a short stack here of walls I need to get up. Gotta get those installed and then I'll see where I'm at from there. But we are definitely making progress today. It's looking a lot better out here. More like a maze, finally. But anyway, that's your midday update. I'll be back with you in a couple hours. A couple of seconds for you guys, but a couple hours for me. So ends build day two. 
<laughs> yeah, it's build day too. Uh, didn't get quite as far as I wanted to, though. But I got, I think I got quite a bit done. Uh, got the maze assembled inside the tents. And I believe I showed you that in an earlier clip. Uh, still have the two tents left to put up. And I'll probably do that uh, Sunday. Or actually tomorrow Sunday. So I'll probably do it on Monday. I'll get those two tents up and those back walls up. Uh, I did get the uh, bracing on the top of the walls finished in, uh, for the area that I've gotten done. And I got some of the wind breaks up. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a start. Almost got all the wind breaks done in the area that I had set up. Uh, but I used up what supplies I had out here. The rest are still back in stores and I don't feel like digging them out tonight. It's been a long enough day, is it? Well, a couple of days, actually. But let's show you a little bit here. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera very well. But we got the walls up here. And there's one of the braces. This here is going to be our vampire display for this year. And you come in over here in this dark cavern, which you're probably not seeing, <laughs> is going to be the pirate display. And then we get over here, you know, swivel the light around. There you go. Is uh, going to be our uh, a small graveyard this year. And now you're starting to see some of the wind breaks here. And it's just a sheet four foot wide by about five foot long that I put up along the outside edge of the uh, tent and it prevents the wind from blowing in underneath and blowing the scene set of wallpaper loose. Uh, I still got a couple of holes. I got a little one over there. I got one there. I still have that wall there to do. And probably not seeing it, but there's a little hole there. <laughs> I got to cut some uh, sheets. Uh, to fit those holes uh, Which I'll do tomorrow because they're buried in storage right now So I'll be a project for tomorrow uh, I still need to get sheets up finish putting sheets up around that along that wall and that wall and The back half of that wall over there that will all get sheets and Then the bump out over there where the bushes are that gets it too and then the inside inside of the maze is for the most part protected. Uh, I'll walk you through the rest of the maze here. And I'm going to turn the light around. And I'm in the dark, I know. Here's the rest of the corn hall. And we'll swivel the light like that. I think there'll be enough light for filming. Anyway, they come in through the corn hall. Hang a corner, there'll be a curtain hanging from this bar here. They push through, they come into the gypsy display. And see, so yeah, like I said, more back walls. I think it's showing. And I can't throw the light anymore. I'm not going back for it. Anyway, when they get to this point, there's another curtain. You push through it, and we get started in the chain hall. And I'm not sure if you can see the bar there. There's one there, one there, and a whole series of them down through here. I'm going to be hanging some fake chains off of that they're going to have to push and battle their way through. And then when they get to this point, this is going to be a, uh, my sewer room, cesspool pit. I'm actually going to do two pits in here. And again, more of the uh, wind breaks here i did not do any on this wall for a good reason because there's an, uh, another set of partition walls just on the other side and that will get the wind breaks no need having them on both sides and then you get over here this is a spider display and then out <laughs> there's the exit so and still you see we got out here yeah, a little bit of light out here uh I have I spent this morning cutting 18 panels for uh, to go along the outside here. I'm going to get those put in tomorrow, hopefully.
<laughs> I got them cut out today. I'm gonna, as soon as I get done filming this, I'm gonna be going back in the shop and start assembling them. I'll probably finish assembling them in the morning and then we'll get them out here, get them installed and I'll put the wind brakes on those so that area will be done. I still need to do my uh, tack strips yet. And they run midway up the walls there. It gives me something to attach the top and bottom of the seam setters to. And that I'll do tomorrow. And if I get lucky and everything goes real quick, I'll uh, probably get some of the wallpaper up tomorrow. Probably late tomorrow night I'll start putting a little bit of it up. So, But anyway, that's pretty much what we got done today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you go and head back in the shop and start assembling those last... Uh, partition walls. So catch you tomorrow. Sorry for the rambling.